what feeling we will appeal and lay down all our arguments about it. What is your main argument? That he was provoked to commit the crimes, he was judged for. So he is not, as he claimed, on the tape, a member of the real IRA? No. What was he doing in Lithuania with the guns? Actually, no, I think that the question is wrong itself, because we should ask, you know, not what happened, but how it happened. And how it happened is quite a story. So but I don't think that I will tell it's this story in two minutes. But he was in Vilnius with weapons. Yes, but how IRA. he came? Do you know how he came? The initial moment, how he came there, with whom he came there? What was the initial part of this operation? So we have only the words of himself, we have the words of MI5 agent, and that's it, what we have in this case. He was trapped, you're saying? Yes, sure. Trapped by whom? Trapped by whom? Trapped by MI5 at the beginning. It was MI5 operation, so you heard about this. But he was still buying guns, or looking at guns, and talking about the IRA. I will repeat my answer. The question, how it happened. Not what happened, but how it happened. So it's the main question of the case. What do you can say about it? Actually, we think, you know, that uh, the verdict is um, not grounded. And, of course, we will appeal it. Uh, could you introduce your next step uh, during the appeal? Who would you do next? You say you will appeal, but how do you look like? Yes. Right? How we will appeal? Yes, yeah, right. And when and how? Actually, the term for appellation for our client uh, starts uh, after uh, he will receive the translated judgment. Today the judgment was announced only in Lithuanian, and he received only the Lithuanian version. So when he receives the English version, uh, the term, 20-day term, will start to, for appellation. And actually, I think that he will use his right for appeal.